And what we have here is the the caps, the hub uh, caps, and you can see I've I've put the teeth on them, and uh, they will now sit uh, around that star hub in the center. So let's go have a look at that and see exactly what's going with the ancient Assyrian wheel. Okay, so this is my first attempt at an ancient Assyrian wheel. And right now, this is all uh, dry fit, so nothing's uh, glued. But we can see that we have this, which is the, the center hub. And those end caps go in around and then the teeth that I've glued will sit around in this area flat up against the, the spokes. And as you can see, you've got uh, V-show spokes here and, and the V-slot, uh, mortise and tenon as well. And that allows for alignment regarding the, the spokes so that there's no twisting even though uh, you've got uh, circular circular dowels on the end. Now you have your your little rib here which which I've uh, I've done that's just a, a, a rebate cut into into the rim and this will get pinned uh, and it'll go through uh, a layer of the rim and then the tongue of of the wheel, the tire, sorry, the wooden tire, and then come out the other side, uh, going through the rim again, and also the the outside cleat. Now, <clears throat> uh, there's there's a few ways you can you can attach the the tires together. I've used uh, a tongue, a floating mortise and tenon joint in in these sections, uh, as as you can see. So, I'm hoping I'll be able to, to reuse these parts before, before I glue up the wheel to be able to make the other one and make some more permanent templates uh, so that I could recreate this should I need to. Uh, but all in all, I think it's uh, coming along quite, quite nicely so far even though it's my first attempt and uh, let's let's see how how it rolls not right now but once it's all all together